when I press the transmit button, but this is completely passive. There's nothing connected to this right when now. When I press yeah? the transmit so button on the radio, the LED lights up here, which means there must be at least 14 milliamps and 2.2 uh, or 2. Point something volts going into this well, LED. A couple more things that we need to do to get this uh, little uh, a free energy ham radio project um, uh, sorted out. Uh, basically, just as a quick reminder, this is uh, sorry, just get the circuit diagram. This is a harvester radio. So effectively, um, an antenna here, and we have uh, some diodes, uh, which will rectify uh, the signals that are coming in. And those uh, uh, signals can then be used to charge an external battery, which uh, the charge voltage is limited by a Zena diode here. Uh, and then that external battery can be used to drive a transistor, uh, which gives you the ability uh, to rectify and receive uh, shortwave signals. So, um, yeah, as an external tuning capacitor and various other things that we can wire up to this. We're not going to do all of this today. I just want to prove the principle to you. And, actually, I have a few things to say to you. So, um, I've uh, been in the paper, a um, uh, local paper, and also, or say I, the YouTube channel has been in the local paper, and uh, also um, the, uh, the Daily Mail um, has published uh, my potato peeler, uh, which was really quite interesting, uh, <laughs> really actually wasn't quite interesting, electric drill, potato on the end of it, a spud peeler, and basically we spilled, pu uh, we, we spilled puds, we peeled spuds with an electric drill really quite amusing um, and that seems to be going viral at the moment so uh, if you're watching because of that I just want to give you a heads up this is actually an engineering channel we're going to get into electronics engineering dubious sort of engineering this is a bit of a free energy type project um, it's very small amounts of free energy but it's free energy all the same uh, a big thanks to all of the subscribers. Uh, we had some 800 plus subscribers. That count is going up quite quickly at the moment. But I just I want to let you know that all of the subscribers that the channel has, I wouldn't bother doing this if we didn't have you guys watching it, offering your support, your suggestions, your comments. Um, have a look through the archives. Enjoy some of the movies that are on the channel. There's a lot of movies out there. Power Walls, 18650s, vintage, newly designed audio systems, um, Bluetooth audio systems, uh, the old famous uh, robot lawnmower project. Uh, there's even a big track that uh, uh, me and Rich, Richie's here. I'm Howie. Matt's been here as well. There's other people that are involved in the channel occasionally. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, there's a big track that we've upgraded with an Arduino. There's all sorts of stuff going on. So uh, get in there and enjoy that. Quick shout out to Tyler Pickering because um, he really wanted a shout out. So there you go, mate. Well done. Good job. Um, and ultimately, thumbs up. Share. Share the videos. Anything you find interesting, chuck it out to your mates, whatever. Stick it on your Facebook, whatever. And uh, massive, massive uh, thumbs up. Thank you very much, guys, for being involved in this mad um, engineering type channel. So that said, without further ado, let's get on and get some engineering work done and see if we can prove. We have all sorts of stuff, by the way. Uh, I have a little radio transmitter here. Uh, this has a BNC connector on it. BNC connector, uh, we can connect up a variety of different antennas to it um, to try and trap some of those radio waves and convert those radio waves into electricity which will um, charge up this battery and uh, effectively uh, allow us to listen to a shortwave radio. So without further ado, here we go. Right then, so there's a few things that have got to happen before we get into this. So I've just got to finish things off. Uh, we need to solder onto this here, we need to solder on some uh, some crocodile clips. So another uh, another cool thing. Oh, that's a bit warm. Another cool thing that's happening um, is uh, retro man cave uh, popped over to see me a little while ago. Um, he 
refurbishes computers and enjoys uh, refurbishing uh, old and gaming systems and that kind of stuff, he popped over and uh, we're going to get together and we're going to do a collaborative project. Um, he's, uh, he's a much more quality uh, YouTuber than I am. He makes very, very nice quality videos. He must spend some significant time putting his videos together. I slam mine together with um, with a bit of kit that I've rigged up in the shed here. Just so you know, it's uh, absolutely freezing in the shed. Right, okay, look at that. Okay, good news. We've got a battery holder. Damn it, I forgot to get the battery out of the uh, out of the um, the lounge. Right, okay, so I need to get a battery for my little battery compartment. So effectively, um, this will connect onto here. Oh yeah, I need to get headphones as well, don't I? Right, so this needs to, this will connect onto here, sorry, and here. There we go, it's on those terminals right there. Um, so we'll have a battery on there in just a moment. And uh, we'll connect up, uh, we'll just connect up this antenna for right now. This is a little uh, BNC connector, and uh, this is a BNC connector, a uh, little, I think it's a six meter type antenna, or tuned for six meters, uh, extendable, as you can see, or telescopic. So we'll get that there, and uh, oh, I tell you what, just for fun, it's um, here, let's fire up the, uh, fire up this radio and see what happens if we. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we transmit next... Oh my goodness, look at that! Wow! Look at that. You see the LED lighting, so I'm going to transmit. Here we go, three, two, one. Whoops. Transmit. Look at that. Fantastic. So, when I, when I, when I press the transmit button... Yeah? I'm sure you can see that. When this is completely passive, there's nothing connected to this right now. Yeah. So when I press the transmit button on the radio, the LED lights up here, which means there must be at least 14 milliamps and 2.2 uh, or 2. Point something volts going into this LED. So that quite quickly shows us that actually this works so the idea is if we put this in the charge position this switch here in the charge position um, and we put a battery in here this battery will charge what we can do is we can remove uh, we can remove this little connector here we can put a current meter in line with this and we can see how much current is going into our battery how cool is that? You know what, Trevor, um, the gentleman that designed this uh, as a project for newbie hams uh, to develop their soldering skills, um, Trevor, this is cool. I'm digging it. All right, so what I've done is I've found a battery. And uh, if I just zoom things out ever so slightly, oh, wrong way, there we go. You can see a little bit more of what's going on. Hopefully you can see there's a meter here. It's a, a Fluke 77 meter. Um, decent sort of industry standard meter. And uh, what I'm going to do is just quickly check the voltage of this battery. This is a um, nickel metal hydride rechargeable cell. It's 8.5 something... Sorry, it's a 0.85 something volts. So we'll chuck this battery into battery holder um oh i'm getting cables trapped okay uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. right so battery in battery holder and uh i just put those meter leads across there 8.5 hopefully you can see that whoops uh, see if we can find a way of getting these leads to stay in place do do might be a bit of video editing going on here Okay, so what we've done then is we've taken the flute meter, we've put it across the battery, which is a nickel metal hydride battery. And uh, currently the battery is reading 0.96 volts. Actually, earlier it was re re reading 0.85 volts. But um, I did have a quick test of this just a few seconds ago. I thought I'd recorded it and hadn't recorded it, forgotten to press the record button on the camera. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. Um, 
PCB set up, ready to go, uh, connect, battery connected up, we've got a, a test and charge switch, we're putting the, the test switch into the test position, so when I press this button here, the transmit button on the, tr the radio transceiver, you can see the antenna transmits a signal which is received by this signal, which is rectified by this set of diodes and converts it into, converts that signal into a um, an electrical voltage that's powerful enough to f light this LED. There we go. Boom. Uh, as you can see, the light's going. Uh, talking of the light's going, I'm having a few problems with, um, oops, the shed lighting. Good lighting sorted. Um, so, uh, let's just make sure that that's in play. Nine point. <laughs> Come on. 0.95 volts. Let's put this into the charge position and press the transmit switch. Again, radio waves transmitted from this little wire antenna here into this BNC connected antenna into the ham radio circuit. Turn it on. It's transmitting. Look at that. Free energy. This is effectively how your uh, I say free energy, I'm joking. Um, but this is how your uh, wireless charging circuits work with your mobile phones and this kind of stuff. So there we go. Check it out. 1.1 volts DC. Holding. And it's holding. So effectively, this circuit is indeed charging this battery. So the good news is this battery will then, in turn, when you... Uh, turn on the radio here you should be able to plug in some headphones on this socket and you should be able to tune in a radio station which is being powered effectively by this little battery right here which has been charged up by a radio source how awesome is that Trevor from eBay Trevor from eBay sent me this he said, have a play with it. It might make a couple of people raise an eyebrow or two. Yeah, it works. This is quite interesting. Free energy? Not really. Really not free energy. And we're talking microamps at really close range or milliamps at really close range. And uh, uh, we'd need to be next to a very powerful transmitting station in order to actually pick up that, uh, that energy. But We'll play with this some more and we'll see what we can make it do. Um, it's really cold out here in the shack, so I do apologise. Uh, but I think I'm going to call it quits for this episode. Okay, so the deal is, when you press the transmit button on this uh, transceiver here, radio waves will be generated by this uh, antenna, go into this antenna through air, uh, rectified by these uh, diodes on the PCB. That will... generate enough electricity to charge to uh, power this LED here that you saw. We're going to move the switch into the charge position and then you will see the voltage rise across this battery as this battery is being charged. So here we go, I've just pressed the uh, transmit button on this uh, on this little radio here and look at that, 1.2 volts DC. And that's caught my imagination, that's not bad at all. Share, like, subscribe. I know that's so cliche of me. I do apologise. But, um, yeah, get, get this channel out there a little bit. Let's see what happens. Cheers!